Ain't I a Woman? A Speech by Sojourner Truth. Background. Sojourner Truth delivered this speech at the Women's Right Convention in Akron, Ohio in 1851. It was never transcribed or recorded, but a woman in attendance, Frances Gage, committed it to paper from memory many years later. The words may not be entirely accurate, but the power of Truth's speech remains intact. Well, children, where there is so much racket, there must be something out of kilter. I think the twixt the Negroes of the South and the women of the North, all talking about rights. The men will be in a fix pretty soon. But what's all this here talking about? That man over there says the woman needed to be helped into carriages and lifted over ditches and to have the best place everywhere. Nobody ever helps me into carriages or over mud puddles or gives me any best place. And ain't I a woman? Look at me. Look at my arm. I have plowed and planted and gathered into barns, and no man could head me. And ain't I a woman? I could work as much and eat as much as a man when I could get it and bear the lash as well. And ain't I a woman? I have borne thirteen children and seen most of them sold off to slavery. And when I cried out with my mother's grief, none but Jesus heard me. And ain't I a woman? Then they talk about this thing in the head. What's this they call it? A member of the audience whispers, intellect. That's it, honey. What's that got to do with women's right or Negro's rights? If my cup won't hold but a pint and yours holds a quart, wouldn't you be me not to let me have my little half measure full? Then that little man in black there says, he says, women can't have as much rights as men because Christ wasn't a woman. Where did your Christ come from? Where did your Christ come from? From God and a woman? Man had nothing to do with him. If the first woman God ever made was strong enough to turn the world upside down all alone, these women together ought to be able to turn it back and get it right side up again. And now they is asking to do it. The men better let them. Obliged you for hearing me. And now old sojourner ain't got nothing more to say. <laughs>